The OSCE Special Monitoring Mission to Ukraine delivered its assessment of the current escalation of hostilities in eastern Ukraine this week in Vienna. There was little cause for optimism, despite confirmation that the OSCE mission continues to grow. As violence escalates in East Ukraine, Russian-backed militants are accused of deliberately targeting civilians as they open up new fronts in the 10-month-long conflict. Ambassador Ihor Prokopchuk, head of the Ukrainian delegation to the OSCE, described how the monitors witnessed attacks on residential areas. It was extremely useful uh, for all delegations that the OSCE monitors uh, arrived immediately to the places of attack on uh, residential areas of the city of Mariupol, where it happened on the 24th of January, and uh, provided exhaustive reporting, spot reporting, into what they saw, uh, which kind of missiles were used, from which direction those missiles came, which clearly showed that uh, it was a deliberate attack that was made by uh, the uh, militants and uh, the attack was delivered from uh, the areas under their control. In a report this week to the Permanent Council of the OSCE in Vienna, the head of the OSCE's special monitoring mission to Ukraine, Ambassador Ertegrul Apakan, insisted that the Minsk Protocol is still the only viable path to peace for eastern Ukraine. There will also soon be even more observers on the ground in the East Ukrainian conflict zone. America's permanent representative to the OSCE, Ambassador Daniel Bayer, this week confirmed an additional $1 million contribution, which will bring monitoring staff up to 413 by the end of the month. However, according to Ukraine's Ambassador Prokopchuk, that's not enough to stem the rising tide of violence. From our viewpoint, it is indeed imperative that uh, the number of monitors in the mission is brought to the maximum. Uh, which was envisaged by the relevant Permanent Council decision. And that maximum number of uh, monitors is indeed 500. From our viewpoint uh, of this number, uh, at least 350 need to be deployed uh, to uh, the areas of hostilities uh, in Donbass. The OSCE monitoring mission is itself becoming increasingly caught up in the escalating violence. Earlier in the week, an unmanned aerial vehicle used by the OSCE for surveillance came under small arms fire. The mission itself has been forced to relocate observers on several occasions due to approaching shelling. According to Apakan, more than 5,000 people have been killed and 12,000 wounded since April. There are 1 million internally displaced persons with an estimated 600,000 people fleeing to neighboring countries, including Russia and Belarus. While all sides will officially welcome the expansion of the OSCE monitoring mission to East Ukraine, in an environment of growing combat intensity, questions will continue to be asked over the effectiveness of unarmed observers. Ukraine looks set to remain the OSCE's top priority in 2015, but the growing mission to the country faces enormous challenges if it is to contribute to establishing a durable peace. This is Paul Gillingwater for Ukraine Today, Vienna, Austria.